Welcome back to Wiseman Company, everyone. Ben Brown here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the 511 Norris sneaker. This is my first review or video on a pair of sneakers, and I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. I hate 511. I think a lot of their products are overpriced, they're poorly made. I don't like 511, haven't had a good experience with 511. I think they're out of touch with what the firearms or tactical industry really needs. They push that tactical uh, card all the time, that tactical line, and uh, I just don't think it's very good. So for me to review a 511 product is uh, pretty, pretty unusual. I never thought I'd be doing it. I saw my friend Aaron wearing these, hold up. Let me rephrase that. I saw a guy named Aaron wearing these. The relationship is complicated. He was wearing these and I thought, man, those look decent. There was no tags on them. I couldn't really tell who made them. And he goes, yeah, they're 5'11". I said, really? And then I took a closer look at them. He had cut the tags off of them because he didn't want anyone to know he was wearing 5'11 shoes. And uh, on the tongue here, it actually kind of has a subtle 5'11 logo, but it stays underneath the laces. And uh, he goes, yeah, these are really good. Been wearing them a while. Uh, bought them for 60 bucks. And uh, he said they've, they've been good for him. So I did some more research, bought a pair, 60 bucks. This is the Ranger Green color from 511. And I have to say, these are really nice. Let's start with the bottoms, the sole. It is a very thick, non-slip sole. It's got that Vibram sole on the bottom. They're puncture resistant. So there's videos of guys hammering nails and stuff with the bottoms of these shoes. They are incredibly tough. I climbed ropes in these, jumped walls in them. The thick rubber soles really bite onto surfaces. So again, that climbing and, uh, and running on wet surfaces uh, is no issue with these shoes at all. They just are a little thicker. So aesthetically for me, I know this is all personal, but aesthetically for me, that thicker sole is a little bit of a turnoff, but it's not bad. But again, it's for a good reason. These, this is a robust sole for a working man or a guy that's on the range a lot. Moving forward, you can see the toe has this kind of reinforced area here. So you're not scuffing up your toes a lot. It did start to fray on the stitching a little bit, but I just took a lighter to it, burned it down and the toes are holding up really, really nicely. They almost look like the day I bought them. So not bad as far as the reinforcement up front goes. That was a nice touch. They also have some ventilation up here. I live in a hot area. These are a little warm for the area I'm in. I'm in Florida, um, but the ventilation up top is nice. And on the sides, you can see right here, there's some ventilation. It, it does help. It helps that foot breathe a little bit more. They're not waterproof. They are water resistant. I've walked through some heavy wet grass in these and some puddles and wet ground and my feet stayed relatively dry, but you cannot just plunk these in water for obvious reasons. The ventilation on the top and the side. All right, let's talk about comfort. When I first got these, these were a little stiff. After wearing them a good bit, they did break in nicely. They have a nice, comfortable cuff up here. It's cushioned. This was a nice touch because I'm not used to high top shoes. I don't wear them a lot. And most high top shoes, if you haven't worn them for a while, will start to rub the top of your ankle a little, a little raw, depending on what you're doing. These are nice and padded and very, very, very comfortable. The footbed on the inside is cushioned, very comfortable. I've worn these for 12 hour days on the range, teaching classes or just training in general. And I don't have any hot spots, no blisters, anything like that. My arches don't hurt. I have higher arches than maybe most. And uh, I gotta say, these were plenty comfortable for those long range days. I wouldn't wanna do a lot of running in these, like three to five miles, but short distances, maybe under a mile, you'd be perfectly fine with getting away with these. Not ideal, running shoes or, or trail shoes would be a better fit uh, because that's the tool for the specific job, but you can get away with moving long distances in these. Let's talk about fit, true to size. If you wear a 10, order a 10. If you wear a 10 half, order a 10 half, et cetera. They uh, fit very, very well. Um, a little bit of room up front so you're not jammed in there. They are a wider shoe. I have a very thin foot. Um, so if you have wide feet, 
These actually might be a little better for you. Laces cover a lot of surface area, which I like. That allows you to really cinch these up if you need to. Um, they are holding up nicely. One thing I don't like about shoes is you get three months in, the shoe might be holding up fine, but your laces are just frayed and you gotta buy aftermarket laces. These are really nice, comfortable. Uh, again, if you wanna cinch them up tight, you can do that. If you wanna let them loose and have a little bit more comfort and freedom on your foot, you can do that as well. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but I do think you can pull off some really cool looks with these shoes because they look so casual. You can wear them with jeans, you can wear them with pants, you can wear them with tactical pants, you can wear them with shorts, although you do look a little bit like a camp counselor if you try to wear these with shorts. Guys, this is just a casual looking sneaker that's really tough. That's what I like about it. I like having the peace of mind. If I need to climb a fence, run through glass, jump over something, I can do that and my shoes aren't gonna hold me back. I'm not gonna roll an ankle or something's gonna puncture them and cut my foot. Uh, this Norris 511 sneaker covers both bases. Normal looking dude, good looking shoe that has some capability. So good job 511. I'm happy for you guys. You guys did a good job. I still cut your tag off the side because it was really ugly, but good job on the overall sneaker. Guys, this is the Ranger green color. You can get these in a number of other colors. You can get them in like multicam if that's more your speed. You can get them in a darker tan, a coyote. Uh, I've seen them in multicam black, black. Uh, these again were 60 bucks. I think the camo pattern ones are a little bit more expensive. Uh, they shipped very fast They were when they were in stock. I think I got them in like three days or something, which was cool. Um, check them out. If you're looking for a good range shoe or a, or a do-all shoe, these, again, worked out really well for me. All right, guys, leave me a comment down below what you guys think. Let me know what shoes you guys like to use out in the world. I'm a big Merrill fan. Solomons are very popular. Uh, there's some newer, smaller, uh, niche type shoemakers out there that are making some cool stuff. Lems. Let me know down in the comments. I want to hear from you. I want to see what shoes you're wearing. Thank you for watching. Go to wisemancompany.com. That's the best way to support us. A ton of great gear over there for you guys to buy. And again, that supports us directly. We appreciate it. Guys, see you on the next video.